Hello everyone, so I figured today I would do a back to school project because that is all that I've been seeing at the stores. So first off, I dropped by Daiso and I picked this up for $1.75 and it is meant to be used as a banner, but I'm gonna separate the pieces. I'm gonna take the twine, save that for later. What I really want are these 11 pieces right here because it is going to make decorating so much more easier. So I'm gonna create something a bit nostalgic for some of us and you'll definitely see that as the video progresses. So. I am going to take these 11 pieces. Some of them have doubles, as you can see, the Tangled character, which I don't know her name. Let me know in the comments down below. I'm so old school. I know Belle from Beauty and the Beast and also Ariel from The Little Mermaid. And then there's other characters like Snow White, Cinderella, uh, Aurora, as well as Jasmine from Aladdin. So I am gonna be using these pieces and I'm going to pair them up with this piece that I picked up from KS Craft, which is is a product called Library Card Pocket Shaker. So it is a shaker. You can add all of your little shaker elements into this, but I actually want this to lie really flat and I do have a different process, I think, from the original. And that's only because I am going to be using this to put in the back of books. So I actually built mines upside down. So I cut out all of my pieces like you can see right here, but I'm just gonna use this one as an example. So you know the top is actually the one that has like the rounded corners, and then the bottom is where the pointing corners are at, and these two pieces are actually going to be what makes our little pocket. So I flip my pieces over and these are actually the back so that you can see what I do with mine. So I put this on and then I actually fold the flaps over. So I know the back doesn't look too cute, but that's okay because it's gonna be covered up. I'm going to be using some score tape and you know, traditionally like your library cards used to be in the back of the book. So that's where I plan on putting these. The other way to make these library cards are to fold all of the flaps on your little pocket and then just stick it onto the main piece. The only reason why I don't do that is because I prefer not to have any flaps on the inside. So that way when you put your card in there, it doesn't get caught on there, but then you can always put like an extra piece in there and then that would cover up the flap. So it's all up to you. You have two different ways to build it. And this is the final product. So on the first one, I did use decorative paper. I also added some little jemmies on there because you'll notice that because it was on a banner, there are some holes at the top. So there's really clever ways that you can cover that up. You can use stickers on there. You can use little rhinestones on there. You can even just use your little hole punch and then punch out a front and a back to your hole punch and then glue those down together to cover up those holes. It's all up to you, but it just makes decorating so much easier. And for $1.75, I can create a whole stack of these and it looks like one complete cute little set so that's why I liked using this Daiso product right here and I will say that if you are picking this up from the store and you plan on making a lot of these you might want to pick up more than one pack I only picked up one at first and then I had to wait for them to restock everything because it was completely out when I went back you don't have to use this you can use any character that you want you can make them plain which I did here because I plan on decorating them later and then I also made another set with decorative paper but for the front pocket I actually didn't glue that down completely I just glued the edges so that way I had another pocket so now you get two pockets in one and like I said earlier this is really great for like teachers or did I say it I'm not sure but it's a really great gift for like students and teachers because like for teachers you know if you really love to give out books to your students this would be a really great way to put like your personalized message in there and then also for students if you're using this in your textbooks or even in your planners or notebooks it's really great because you can have all these little pieces of paper that you can have at the ready to be able to use as bookmarks later on you can use them to write down definitions, page numbers, you can use them as flashcards later on. So I really like this and it's really cute. Again, like very, very nostalgic, the Dewey Decimal System, the library cards, <laughs> all that really great stuff. And it's just like a modern twist on it. So really cute. And also like your junk journals, like this would be really cute to put like pockets into your junk journals. So using a lot of my scrap paper, this little $1.75 item from Daiso, and this little KS Craft product, which I'm sure I'm gonna get so much use out of, and there's probably a ton of other projects that this would be really great in, and please feel free to leave us comments down below. Give us your ideas on what you would use it for. This would also be really cute in a little recipe book. You can put your little grocery list on here. It was definitely a super fun project, and I have more tools and more craft goodies that I really need to start 
start using. I am slowly but surely filling up my little box of summer crafts. I don't actually know when I'll post my next video, but for the summer, I am definitely working on something crafty. So please stay tuned and hit the bell if you wanna be notified of all of my new videos. And if you're feeling the vibe, please don't forget to hit subscribe. I thank you all so much for watching and I hope you all have a very wonderful day.